All right, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. And today I've got a story from uh, back in the day when I used to play a lot of Call of Duty that was very funny. This dude's dad hopped on the mic and ended up roasting him in front of everybody. It's not the longest story in the universe, but it is pretty entertaining, so I figured you guys would enjoy it. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so back in the day, it wasn't normal to be able to have a party chat with your friends all the time when you were playing video games. I don't necessarily know if it was this way on PC, but I know for sure on console, in Call of Duty for the longest time, there were certain game modes where it would force you into game chat. And for the most part, it wasn't that bad just because the game mode forced you into game chat. Everybody was already there and people would just kind of be chill. Every now and then it would absolutely pop off though. People would just be saying the most insane things you've ever heard, dude. I've heard people say that they've done things to people's mothers that I don't even want to imagine. But sometimes it would get crazy and people would start talking trash. And one day, me and my friends pop into a search and destroy lobby on Modern Warfare 2 and we get the prompt to go to game chat and obviously we click yes because we don't want to get kicked from the game. In the second that our audio switches over to game chat, there's this kid just screaming into the microphone at everyone else on our team. And it was me and two friends, and there's six people on a team, so two like other people, and then this kid who's screaming. And the kid is just kind of yelling incoherently about how everyone on this team sucks and they're garbage, and he's gonna have to backpack us because clearly we have the gaming skills of Stevie Wonder. And I'm confused because the game hasn't even started at this point. We're still in that part where it's like counting down before the match starts. And one of the other people on our team, not anyone that I'm queued up with, says something back about like, can you please shut up? I'm going to try to play, but I'm not going to be able to play well if I have you, a screaming banshee, in my ear for the next 20 minutes. Which is pretty fair. You're screaming that they're garbage, they're allowed to roast you back and say you have an ugly voice, you know? Every now and then, someone's going to think your voice is ugly. It is what it is, baby. But that sets this kid off, and he starts screaming even louder now. Like, he was yelling before. He was definitely talking loudly, but now... He He's screaming into his mic. You know, old school microphones weren't that great. Even new mics will do this. But back in the day, if you were to yell into a mic too loud, it would start peaking. And his mic is peaking over and over again as he's yelling about how we shouldn't talk trash back to him. He's better than us anyways. If we want to talk trash to somebody, we should pull up our combat record and show him our kill-death ratio. Which we are playing Call of Duty. But oh my goodness, has to be one of the cringiest things I've ever heard screamed at me. What's your kill-death? ratio in Call of Duty. Uh, probably better than yours, but even if it's not, I don't really understand why any of this matters. I'm not gonna be able to focus while you scream in my ear. Screaming, kid? Well, what's your kill-death ratio? Well, it's not gonna be better if you're yelling in my ear, that's for sure, even if I am dookie garbage. But as this dude is screaming into his mic, full volume, just absolutely cranked to the nines, you hear something in the background of his microphone, and then you hear him go, I'm sorry, and then there's a different voice on the microphone. This one's a lot deeper, obviously someone who's a lot older. And it's just like, what are you doing? Why are you screaming like that? Are you crazy? I'm on a conference call downstairs and everybody on the conference call is hearing you screaming at the Xbox. What is wrong with you? Why are you yelling like that? And then this kid who had been Mr. Tough Guy for the entire game so far, you know, telling everyone that they're garbage, telling everyone that they suck, he's the greatest of all time, instantly becomes just like the biggest baby you could have possibly ever envisioned. I I'm so sorry, dad. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. And the dad is like not being insanely mean, but just kind of saying things in a way where you know he's telling the truth. I don't know if that makes sense. Like he's not insulting his kid. He's just kind of asking him questions that his son doesn't have the answer to. And so he asks him, why do you have to do this every day? Every day I have to come in here and tell you to stop screaming at the Xbox. You do realize it's not that deep. Like you don't have to yell at the game. It's not going to make you any better. Better. You wonder why your mother and I don't want to put more money into your gaming setup, get you great headphones, anything like that. It's because you're already screaming when you're wearing an earphone with one ear on. I can't imagine if you couldn't hear yourself with two. And now the entire game chat is laughing at him too. We were already kind of laughing at him when he was just screaming because it wasn't very intimidating. He was just yelling so loud and so angrily compared to everybody else that it was entertaining. But now it's really hilarious, all right? You don't know pure joy until someone's talking trash to you in a video video game and their dad walks in the room and starts flaming them. Obviously, it's going to be some of the most entertaining things
things you've ever seen because uh, Little McRageface is getting his comeuppance and on top of it, if he ever tries to talk trash again for the rest of the game, then like you have the best comeback of all time. Shut up, your own dad doesn't even like you. I mean, it's a built-in roast. And when the dad says that this is why they don't buy him a headset or whatever because he just is always screaming, they don't know how much he would scream if he had both ears covered, which is a pretty fair point in my opinion. I could also just be wrong and an idiot. The kid who, keep in mind, is just some random dude on Xbox, still in the game, by the way, and still moving around, he's still gaming, decides that that's enough. He's going to have to argue back with his dad and teach him a lesson. So he starts yelling at his dad, saying that he would be able to play way better if he had a headset on, which I don't know why he thought that was the cell his dad needed. You know, his dad's in here screaming at him because he yells too much at Xbox and his parents apparently hate how much he plays it. Him, well, you know I'd be a lot better at it if I got a headset. Well, I'm sure you would be better, but I don't think your parents really care about your kill-death ratio. You might be using it against everyone else in an argument. What's your KD? But I don't think your parents care. Could you imagine at dinner that night he has a meeting? Mom, Dad, I feel like I should be able to drop out of school and do nothing but play Call of Duty. Hear me out. I have a 1.8 kill-death ratio. Sure, this does not put me in the top 5%, but it can be improved. With a structured practice system where I'm able to play Call of Duty for up to 19 hours a day, I could get way better. Regardless, their argument keeps going and everyone in the game chat is just getting a front row seat to this family dysfunction. It's like watching a Jerry Springer episode. They're yelling back and forth. The dad keeps being like, why do you feel like video games are more important than your family? And the kid's still playing. You would think at this point he'd at least put the controller down, have the conversation, I don't know, turn off the Xbox. But they argue for a good five minutes while this kid is still playing COD. He's not playing very very well, but homie said, I have to support the team, dad, the tactics you don't understand. Without me, we're screwed. Your your dad's like, you're tearing this family apart. Okay, dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up, okay? You don't understand. This round's about to be over, all right? I'll deal with you in a second. And finally, the dad sounded like he had had enough of this kid playing video games while he was trying to talk to him because he's like, turn off the Xbox. We need to have this conversation. Like, this is important. You can't keep avoiding it. And the kid's like, no, I'm not going to turn it off. I'm in the middle of the game. And the dad's like, you need to turn off that Xbox. Otherwise, I'm going to take it away and you're not going to get it back. And he starts rattling off about how he knows the, the Constitution and the Constitution protects his property, which uh, I guess he probably was just having the Constitution unit in school and thought that the Bill of Rights was just any rights you wanted it to have. No, dad, you don't understand. The 67th Amendment says that you're not allowed to take away my Xbox. Benjamin Franklin was a very forward thinking man. When he was sitting there in 1776, he said one day they're going to have game systems and we can't let parents take that away. And the dad had had enough and the next thing they hear is just like, no, and then boof player has left the game and usually the only way that happens is if your internet gets shut off. So uh, the dad either went and gave the router the good old Jack and Jill kicked it down the hill or or he turned off the Xbox, either of which are hilarious, man. This guy's having an argument with his dad mid Call of Duty fight. The dad, well, let's put it into hard mode. Xbox off, all of a sudden your KD doesn't really matter, does it? Listen, I love video games as much as the next guy. Hell, I even love Call of Duty. And I do care about my KD. That being said, to use it in an argument, especially with like your parents, is insanely cringe. Imagine you accidentally cut someone off in traffic, they start yelling at you, you roll down your window. Hey, buddy, okay? I don't think you know who I am. I'm really good at Call of Duty. You don't want to mess with someone like me, okay? The rest of the team was cracking up, though. Even though they were a player down, it didn't really matter because they were all laughing so hard anyways that they couldn't really focus. They ended up getting slaughtered, but it was well worth it just because of how much the guy had, like, destroyed himself on Xbox, man. Listen, if your parents ever walk in the room and start arguing with you when you're in the Discord call, when you're in the CSGO game, when you're in the COD match. The one piece of advice I have, it's very simple. Mute the microphone. It's never gonna end well if you're displaying an argument with your parents on Xbox, especially if you lose the argument. And after you were talking trash, it's just like a triple layer cringe burger. The Mick triple, if you will. No, you don't understand that. I'm showing these losers who's boss. Oh, you're gonna call them a loser? Why are you still unemployed? Dad, stop saying that. They're listening right now. They weren't trying to be too mean, but what they did do is they went into 
to their recent players list and found the kid's gamer tag and all sent him a message saying that uh, if they could pass along that they were thankful for the, his dad, they would appreciate it. I didn't th send the message. I was too lazy. Typing up a message on Xbox with the analog stick took too long. He never replied, but that's just that extra level of petty. When he does get back on the Xbox, probably in like six years because he's been grounded from it forever, he's going to open the messages. Ah, all these old memories. Ah, a, a stroll down memory lane, if you will. Goes to the messages. Your dad is awesome. He just like starts screaming at the air, shaking his fist. No, no matter how far I run, I never will escape the day that my dad destroyed me in an Xbox Live game chat. If your parents roast you in a game chat, you just have to leave. It's the rules, all right? I didn't make the rule book. I just have it in front of me. Subsection four, paragraph B. If your mom and dad embarrass you in front of a game chat, you should probably leave the game. It's just written down. Anyways, guys, uh, that'll do it for the video. I know this was a short one. I thought y'all would find it entertaining. Hopefully you did. If you did, I'd really appreciate y'all taking a second to press the like button and comment down below. If you don't know what to comment, just go ahead and comment the word Xbox. It helps the video hit recommended. And if you don't comment Xbox, no joke, no scam. Your dad will flame you next time you're in an online game, so don't take chances. Protect yourself. Other than that, if you really want to help me out, subscribe, turn on notifications. I post really often, and I do post the audio versions of these on Spotify, so if you ever want to listen without gameplay offline, whatever floats your boat, a link to that's in the description, along with a link to a playlist I made of all my favorite stories from the year so far, so if you want to check that out, need something to listen to while you play video games, do your homework, whatever, a link to that can be found in the description as well. But on that note, guys, that'll really do it. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.